The Solstice of Heroes is now live, and it is the weekly reset, so let's go over everything that is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here. Welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, the Solstice event is now live and this is the weekly reset but before we get into weekly reset if you guys haven't already entered into the destiny 2 shadow keep giveaway for the month of july 2019 then go ahead and sub to the channel turn on notifications follow me on twitter and let me know what types of videos you guys want to see on the channel also a link to the giveaway will be in the description box below so let's go ahead and start the weekly reset before we get into anything of the solstice as for the traveler uh, well, we have to go ahead and complete 20 bounties. I already have 18. Uh, we need to go ahead and reach 5,000 XP for the clan. I gotta go apparently visit Drifter. We need to open two chests. Uh, I'm sorry, four chests. I already have two. As well as the um, weapon frames, we also need to have two done as well. Coming down to Titan. We have your heroic adventure called the uh, Dead Drop, as well as the Flashpoint. And you can complete the Flashpoint a lot faster if you do heroic public events, as well as lost sectors and heroic adventures. As for the Vanguard, we need to go ahead and complete three daily story missions, as well as complete three strikes. Modifiers this week are Solar Singe, Grounded, as well as Brawler. And for the Nightfall, we need to complete a Nightfall and a Nightfall of 100,000 points. Nightfalls this week are a Garden World, the Tree of Probabilities, as well as the Arms Dealer. Coming down the Gambit, we need to go ahead and get 100% for progress in uh, the Reckoning, as well as complete three Gambit matches, as well as four Gambit Prime matches. Crucible. We have uh, Quick Play. We need to obviously go ahead and complete five uh, Crucible matches. And the Crucible um, playlist this week actually is locked down. It's pretty interesting. Coming to the Dreaming City. Petrovenge is located in the The Valiant Mists. And we need to go ahead and complete two of our weekly bounties. And last but not least, let's go ahead and look at the milestones. So we have the Solstice Begins, which we need to go ahead and visit Ava Levante in the tower, as well as Summer Arrives and at the Eververse. So we actually need to go ahead and talk to Tess Everest. So let's go ahead and go do that now. So as we enter the tower, we have Ava Levante right here next to this big, wonderful uh, Solstice of Heroes statue. And... Let's go ahead and see what she has available. Hello again. I've been hearing about all you've done for this city. People are talking. We've all lost so much since the Red War. But we can't let that stop us from celebrating what we have and the guardians who keep us safe. I talked to Ikora, and this year we have something special. A way to honor all the inspiring stories you've given the world. Go now. Relive your glory. And friends, have a happy solstice. So, holiday begins. We are going ahead and grabbing this solstice mask drain. Complete a milestone. Uh, complete a run through the European Aerial Zone. And then we have this uh, speeder right here. Let's take a look at it. Nice little speeder with the uh, Jade Rabbit on it. Random mod. Custom drive. And it's 160. It's not bad. So, before we do that... Oh... I guess this is easy. So yeah. Hmm, interesting. Let's go do that after. So, we are here at Cess Everest, so let's go find out what she has for us this week at the Eververse. 
Gonna go ahead and grab that. Okay, so we have a wooden ship-like vehicle. A ghost with uh, shades on it, which pretty looked pretty cool. A uh, silly handshake. Sunglass projection. A weird-looking ship. And your bright engrams. Let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, Legacy 2. Okay. Shaded shell. Silly handshake. That's it? That's weird. Sunglasses projection. Huh. That's interesting. So. Oh, okay. Maybe not. Uh, I'm seeing things. Okay. <laughs> this weird ship. And this happens to be an exotic. Oh, that's terrible looking. Okay, anyways, coming down here. Living Boon of Vanguard. Living Boon of the Crucible. Then we have uh, the Shader. Makes you look green. Coming over here, we have the Dream of a New World. And this is an ornament for the Stern. Looks pretty decent. Then we have the Jade Jester for the Jade Rabbit. Actually, my favorite uh, ornament for the Jade Rabbit. And then we have a uh, worthless ship that is a reskin. Yay. So, coming down here, we actually have new Solstice stuff. So, you can actually get the Armor Glow Pack. I'm oh, sorry, the Arc Armor Glow Pack. Um, 800 for either Arc, Solar, or Void. Then you can actually go ahead and get the Breathe In Emote. That looks pretty cool. However, I'm reckless and I bow to no man. Or woman. Then we have the Paperwork Emote. Fuck this shit, I'm out of here. <laughs> I love it. Um, coming down here, we have the Armor Glow Pack. Uh, again, but you can actually buy it for Bright Dust this time. That's pretty interesting. Then we have the uh, Flag on the Play uh, emotes. Ooh, whistle blowing. Oh, okay. That's bad. And then we also have the Shaded Shell as well. Uh, but this is actually for um, buying it with silver. Wow, we got a whole bunch of stuff, huh? We got a new, another ghost shell. Looks like a beach ball. Pretty cool. Then we have a uh, buoy shell. It's technically not a buoy, but okay. I'll, I'll let it slide. Then we have the Legacy 2 ship. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, speeder. Then the Micro Mini speeder. Oh, that looks so cool. It's so small. <laughs> I want it. No homo. Um, then we have the uh, Summer Tide Kite. And this is a ship. Look like a boat. Coming down here, we have the Silly Handshake again. Then we also have Flick the Wrist emote. I mean, it would probably would have been a little bit cooler if it was a basketball, you know, and he was actually doing that on his hand, but okay, whatever. Um, and then we also have Hip Bump. Woo! We have the Triumphant Projection. And then we have the Buried Treasure Projection. Sunglasses we're seeing. Palm tree projection. Crab projection. Beach ball projection. Uh, beach ball effects. As well as the sun castle effects. That's pretty cool. Coming down here, 
We have all of the seasonal offerings still the same. And then we also have your archived uh, wonderful stuff still the same. And then for Bright Dust this week, we have paperwork. Oh, we already seen it. The uh, Jubilee Inch Shell. That wonder, wonderful summer tide kite. The little mini micro thing. Hip bump. Woo. Then we have the Triumphant Projection. As well as the Buried Treasure Projection. Coming down here, we have Fire Team Medallion. Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard and of the Crucible. And then we have two new shaders. We have the Tangerine Gloss. I mean, that actually looks pretty badass, but you are a huge target in PvP with that. And then we have the Pomegranate Gloss. That actually looks pretty cool. I like that. Then we got your Beach Ball effects. As well as the Sun Castle effects again. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. Toss a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and feel free to watch these videos as well. Definitely get subscribed for more Destiny 2 content coming at you guys soon, and I will see you guys in the next video.